Going on YouTube, it's your boy OG T Man in the And today we got um the TikTok youth pastor who isn't going to heaven mm, by the boy Sunny V2. Now I ain't gonna lie, his videos is top tier. So yeah, I just came across this one. And I just wanted to react to it for y'all, but um Anyways, what I didn't say, let's get to the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. On the road to 10K at 2300. Excuse me. I will be doing long, close to an hour, if not hour, vlogs. But, um, yeah, we at 2,257. Let's get to 53. Uh, as a matter of fact, hold up. Let me, let me make sure my math is correct, because, you know, I haven't been in school, but let I think I said 53 I had time. Mm -hmm. 43. Okay, so I, I was at the right pace. I was just, just didn't have the right number. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's get started with the video. Joe Rogan made it seem like he was holier than holy. As a Christian youth pastor, he dedicated his TikTok to showing respect for women until six different people exposed him for his own secretly terrible history. You could see the red flags in early tweets like this one. I am a Christian and I support LGBTQ. And How can you say that and you a you pastor and you believe in that? What? That that's all red. That's all red. Mm. Mm, no, no, no. Even though some people, you know, support other people and they beliefs. Me personally, I don't. You know, I don't. I don't so uh, support in that. But I'm not finna judge nobody who is in that. I'm gonna be like, I'll let you do you. And I'm a as long as you keep that. You know. And this is not to start anything or start none. But you can't say you a you pass you that and you and you support LGBTQ. I won't say I support it, like, you know, be in it and stuff, but I'm saying, like, let them people be. Let them do what they want to do. Let them be them. I don't judge nobody, but I'm not finna, yeah, you know. I support BLM, and I support people of other faiths, and I support a women's right to choose. The need to vocalize his own morality was almost strangely excessive, and his TikTok videos weren't any different. He wanted to punch all men who talked about how women dressed, while reminding his female followers that they had total control of their body. When he wasn't supporting women, it was instead minorities. It's homophobia, racism, misogyny, you name it, all thinly veiled as a joke, and you're not fooling anybody which people found suspicious long before he was exposed but when this dude is making almost his entire personality about respect women always be nice to women respect 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 it gets a little overboard to be honest when questioned about his motives joe rope snapped pretentiously just imagine being so worried about losing your male privilege that you would call anything that has to do with equality for women anti-men. Believing that when all men are killed, he'd be spared because of his TikToks. And when he did also occasionally support men. Now I've talked about men getting body shamed, women getting body shamed. The objective was still the same. Try to make himself seem like a person who did no wrong. The caption of his merch was literally be better, which seemed true to him as a church office manager and youth pastor on the weekends. So depending on how long you've been following me, you may or may not know that I'm actually a very religious person. People therefore heavily respected him, even making stan accounts such as lovely Joe Robe, while comments on his live streams read, I have so much respect for you. You speak for another's and it makes me so happy. Any videos criticizing him were met with thousands of dislikes until people became suspicious of Joe Robe's supposed morality. In late 2020, a TikToker named Gemini Official was exposed for his relationships with multiple young girls. Being in line with Joe Robe's content, people asked him to talk about it, although for whatever reason, Joe Robe avoided the topic. Message Joe Robe saying, hey, this is a problem, can you speak about it? Which is bizarre that it would take you so long to talk about somebody who's grooming children. Joe Robe later explained on Discord that denouncing the actions was simply too obvious. Although, having previously claimed the goal of his TikTok was to create a safe space for young people, it seemed odd that Joe Robe didn't want to talk about it. Perhaps he was simply avoiding drama, but this wasn't the only example. 
Bowler, where Joe Rogan deflected an obvious topic. He'd become friends with a TikToker named The Calvin Brandall, whose videos promoted a similar sentiment to those made by Joe Robe. Well, turns out he'd been doing exactly what he disavowed, explaining he thought it was okay because he was TikTok famous. I felt that with TikTok, my ego was super inflated, and I felt like I was invincible, I was unstoppable, I couldn't make any mistakes. Despite how... Now that, that, that's where people go wrong. That's where people go wrong. Mm -mm -mm. They let that fame and let all that stuff get into their head. Then they start, you know, getting too big headed. And then shit just go haywire. Mm -mm -mm. That's why, that's why I don't want to be too, that's why I want to don't be too famous to the point where it's like stuff like that can happen. And I still want to add a humble in me, but I don't want to get it to the point where people will just, you know, think they can do whatever, just treat me or just talk wild how we photos together on instagram joe robe avoided the situation you have no problem calling out problematic men but it seems like the problematic man is your friend and you're a little quiet eventually mm -hmm. addressing what had happened with this iconic statement i'll say it again if you groom somebody you are disgusting the scum of the earth joe robe however was doing exactly this himself this was somebody that i felt safe around but i don't feel safe around him anymore because He's a groomer. On one unassuming Wednesday, 17-year-old TikToker DillJ16 uploaded the following video. We've got passion, we've got... That's crazy. Hypocritical. And that's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. This video will be about one of the biggest hypocrites I have ever met in my life, Joe Robe. John is a disgusting and terrible hypocrite who abuses his platform by using his clout to groom and prey upon underage boys. He has done this to multiple people, including me. John first followed me whenever I had about 30,000 followers and joined my live stream and asked for my Snapchat, so I gave it to him. After Snapchatting for a few weeks, he asked me if I wanted to get an Airbnb with him on my 18th birthday, which was over three months away. He started to send me links to one-bedroom Airbnbs, and he offered to purchase me alcohol hall if i went and this is him talking about the one bedroom he knew that i did not want to get the airbnb so he thought if he invited one of my irl friends i would want to go that's him asking when he was going to turn 18. and while joe robe was at least waiting until their 18th birthday the group chat they shared wasn't quite so clean during one of the zooms with all of my tiktok friends john thought it would be a good idea to have us all take a bdsm score test and send him our results keep in mind the youngest was 15 years old and the oldest were 19 and there were only two 19 year olds and everybody else was 17 and below. Which had happened just a month before Joe Rove's 28th birthday. Dilji added one more detail before the video finished. I found out that there are multiple people that John has groomed. As a person named Coco then also came forward. He started asking like different questions like, what state do you live in? And um, do your parents let you travel? And do you like to travel? And do I, or... And he offered to buy me a room with him. He offered mm. to buy me alcohol. This is the mm -mm -mm. shame on you. Mm -mm -mm. Like on some, on some real shit. That 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 is. What is with all these pedos? What is what is, where is this world coming to? Like, come on now. If it ain't if it ain't females flaunting their cell phone on Instagram, shaking their butt, doing this, doing that, or dudes out here being weird and being overly sassy is the difference between you know standing your ground and females taking it like sensitive and being overly sassy over you know if it ain't them it's the people being pedos in it what does the world come to bruh like damn we all need jesus before he come back with the rapture and quote i remember him talking to me i may be a pastor or i may work don't for take, god but i'm not against kids people. having fun Please, TikTok, I mean, not TikTok, YouTube, please don't take that. To, that's just me voicing my opinion. Please don't. I'm not forcing nobody to, you know, to, yeah. I should have realized it right there. Then there was another. I can't go into specific details about what happened between me and Joro because it is quite not safe for work. And another after that. He'd also make promises about getting Airbnbs and meeting up with us. He promised alcohol and hot tubs. Joe Robe's accusers then made a Google Doc listing everything else he'd done. He tried to get blank and blank to create an OnlyFans once he turned 18 and said he'd set it up for him 
and subscribe, also strangely bribing the group to call him hot, and locking a girl who was also intoxicated out of Zoom for calling him old and refusing to call him hot. Papagat talked about the document in this video here, after which he'd be messaged a story worse than every other one can bind. I ran a small fan account for Joe Robe on Instagram. He eventually asked my Snapchat. He told me no one else had his Snapchat and made me promise to not give anyone it or to tell anyone what we talk about. Conversations got really weird and he sent me a lot of dirty pictures, four of which were included to prove he wasn't lying. I was also 14 at the time. He didn't even bother to ask how old I was or for any form of identification, but he would call me a baby a lot and would try and force me to call him daddy. To make matters worse, John's church profile explained, outside of his work at St. John, he is a private music teacher with over a dozen students, and up until recently was the activities chair for the Northern Sky District of the Boy Scouts of America. But wait until you hear why he left his previous job. Someone messaged one of the accusers, I wanted to reach out because I'm on staff at the church he used to work at. He was removed from staff over two years ago and he was really upset with our church and strict protocols for working with youth, so he left to go to another church. We're currently in the process of contacting the other church and places he's at as well as local authorities. Joe Robe's LinkedIn partially confirms the story's legit, as it shows he previously worked in the very same church as the lady who told the anecdote. Unsurprisingly, people demanded Joe Robe also lose his new job. St. John Lutheran Church, you have some explaining to do. With Papa Gut even calling the church directly. This is the church that he works at. I know this because I called the church that he works at and I asked him if he works there. They said yes. I told them that they were very serious, incredible allegations. They immediately hung up after they said, oh, thank you. Despite hanging up the phone, the church quickly deleted Joe Robe from their website before iSpeak1906 extracted an unofficial statement. The pastor reached out and he wants to remain anonymous. However, the bishop is aware and he has been terminated and authorities have been contacted and that's about all that we have. But the bigger question was, how did Joe Robe himself respond? Did he make a self-aimed TikTok about his own heinous actions? Well, no. He deleted his TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, even his LinkedIn and hasn't been heard from since. His refusal to address the two previous situations Situations suddenly all made sense, while others were less surprised. The accusation can't be real. A white knight influencer being secretly an awful person is unheard of. Not even surprised. It's always these types of men that end up being predators, but no one was less surprised than one of Joe Robe's former friends. As someone who personally knows John Bell and lived with him at university for a year, I can assure you that he's not the good guy here, and that these accusations line up with his past behavior. The dude was all-knowing, manipulative, homophobic, and tried to give off this ultropious Christian facade. Nothing about his online presence was genuine. Karma is taking a toll on him, and I'm glad he's getting thrown off the internet. Before any of this happened, vegan teacher had stated, John Robert Bell, you got to teach to help. And it turns out her- Hey, that's, that shit's crazy. Even a vegan teacher who wild knew this? Oh no, you're cooked, buddy. You're cooked. But out there being said, that's the end of the video. Yeah, man. That's that shit's crazy, man. Y'all y'all be safe out here, cause too much shit like this going on. Too much shit. Bum. Anyways, it's the end of the video. Let's read these comments real quick. Remember, going to church does not make you a Christian. No. Or than standing in a garage makes you a car. <clears throat> Beware the false prophet who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are at. <sighs> yep. I, I I fucked up on that word. Yep. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to... Church employee, music teacher, boy scout, social media influencer, dude went to every hunting ground. That's that's crazy. His values, he stated, were even Christian values. He just used Christian as a title of virtue and credibility so he could manipulate his victims. Truly sad. I, that, that, that's some shit, man. Y'all be safe out here, bro. Especially with motherfuckers like this.
But anyways, that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the road to 10K at 2300. I will be doing long, close to hour, if not hour vlogs. Run these videos up in that 5K. I will be doing away giveaways because I think every single person who comes on here and who likes my videos and, you know, who make who shares them make sure to you know i appreciate every single last one of y'all i love y'all love the support and everything y'all do without it being said it's your boy ogt man signing out Yeti.